is welcome back to my channel i think this is gonna be the first video that is actually like my channel i did a whole like revamping and everything but anyway we are doing a morning routine i've done a nighttime routine like a few years like a year ago i think so i decided i want to do a morning routine it is saturday at 9 50 a.m um so kind of late but i have volleyball pictures today so i have to get ready for that that's at 11 and yeah so first thing i'm gonna do is make my bed and then like kind of brush my teeth and use the restroom and then we're gonna go downstairs and see what's for breakfast so before we do that make sure to like subscribe and hit the notification bell so you will be notified i love y'all and let's go okay um i just finished making my bed washing my face and like brushing my teeth and everything and using the restroom so now i'm gonna go downstairs and we're gonna see what's for breakfast and make some breakfast and then um come back up here and i have to actually get ready for volleyball photos which i don't do every morning so this is kind of like morning routine with volleyball photos and i might also study because i have a huge midterm exam next week i mean this week and it's nerve-wracking or it might be last week depending on when this video comes out so let's go downstairs what, what are we using powder. barley wheatgrass powder. powder okay so that's what we're gonna use we're gonna use this little spoon and we're gonna use a scoop of it one teaspoon this okay here you go perfect okay so we're gonna do one teaspoon of spirulina powder and these are all packed with a lot of nutrients and it's really good for your body guys perfect meal in the morning okay there we go i'm gonna blend this all together right now and i'm gonna do it in time lapse so pour it in this cup it's a little pink starbucks cup ew and there my mom my mom helps me a lot with these movies so thank you mom wow. okay we have extra, so when we have extra, we just save it and another sibling has some. Okay. We're going upstairs to get ready. I'm super sorry it's dark. There's like no lights on right now. But as you can see, my mom relies, I rely heavily on my mom for my morning with you. Especially like smoothie parts. She helps me out a lot, but I'm trying to be more independent. And she just knows where everything is. Moms are just amazing. So let's go stop by Jolie's room. Because usually every morning I make sure to look at her and make sure she's okay. Hello, people. But first, I gotta go get ready because it's... What time is it? Oh, close up. 10.30. We have to leave by like 10.45. Time takes me not a long time to get ready. But I usually like change everything. But... I can't really change because it's volleyball photos, so that's good. Okay. This cover up, this jersey, and this jersey. I'm wearing this jersey there because my team decided we we're gonna wear this. I'm wear this. I'm wear these. I'm gonna wear these cover shorts. I'm gonna put this cover shirt on. And then I have to get dressed, and then I have to pack everything else up to make sure I don't forget. So, then we have the bathroom situation, where I need to fix this hair. It's not going to be that hard. I have to take it out the braid. kind of wanted my braids to be a little curly. And then we do some mascara, maybe. Some just highlighting up in the face for photos. And I am going to wear these earrings. And I don't think I'm going to wear a necklace. I want to wear a necklace, but I don't think I'm going to. So I'm going to do, I'm going to get dressed, and then I'm going to time lapse everything of me getting ready. Okay. Guys, I decided not to do time lapse. <laughs> I kind of want to do, get like, I want to get ready and then also answer some of y'all questions. But if it does go too long, then I'll just clip some of the, um, clip some of the clips out. Okay. So, first question is, who is your celebrity crush? 
My celebrity crush is, I actually answered this in my True For Near video, and my celebrity crush so, is the guy from High School Musical, the one with the really fluffy curly hair. That's my celebrity crush. Uh, you have a question for me, because Julie's here. You have a question for me um, to answer? My question... I also really wanted to know this. Do you have... Hmm. Ask it now. Have you... Have you ever been jealous with when someone's with another person that you really like? Okay, guys. I have. I feel like I haven't been like jealous, jealous, but I have like felt some sort of like, oh, I wish that was me type of feeling. And I don't like feeling that, so it makes me upset when I do feel that. So that's why I try not to feel that. Okay. Ever. Me? Okay. Next question is coffee or tea? No, I definitely said tea. I love coffee though. I love it in like Starbucks drinks so. So, tea definitely. And then it says, what's your best subject in school? And I think that would be social studies. We were talking about that last night and I used to like love math and then like I have a midterm and everything so now I don't love it as much as I did. Okay, so now I'm done with the skincare. So I'm gonna do something else. Okay, so who can I tell everything to is the next question. First person I tell almost everything is my mom. Like, I tell her so much. She's literally amazing. And she listens to me and everything. So I tell my mom a lot of stuff. And then the next person, I tell my best friend. Um, her, I tell her everything. She's amazing. She actually helps me with my YouTube channel all the time. So she's amazing. And I tell her, like, everything. And she tells me. I think she tells me everything. So that's a good friendship and then <clears throat> the next question is what is the most embarrassing memory from school the most embarrassing memory from school is I actually it was in like I think I was third grade I think I wet my pants and you could definitely tell I wet my pants and I don't think I had a jacket on and I was so freaked out and then like one of my friends let me borrow a jacket and I put it under, I didn't tell her that about my pants, but I put it under and then I washed and gave it back. But I was really embarrassed because I think one of the girls told me like, oh yeah, you wet your pants. And I was like, oh my gosh, please don't tell anyone. Please stop. That was the worst embarrassing thing that's happened to me. And I never want that to happen to me again. Next is, what was my worst injury? My worst injury was actually faked. I faked an ankle sprain and because I didn't want to go to dance that day so I actually faked it I haven't really had a bad it actually it might be my pinky I jammed my pinky and I could not write with my left hand I mean I could not write with my right hand for the longest time and it freaks me out and it's still my pinky's still fat like it never came back from it so this pinky has always been fat and then next one is like what is my worst insecurity and that would be my teeth, probably. I don't know. I don't know what my worst insecurity is. It's probably this pinky. So fat. But no one tells it's like, like knows it's fat and stuff. Unless I've, you've actually like known, like my best friend knows because I was at that school at that time and I like, and it hurt so much too. I think I like died. But I haven't had that bad of injuries yet. So let's hope that never happens, you know? But I feel like in a sport you're gonna get injured. Next question is, how many places have I lived? Okay, so I'm gonna count them out. I lived in California twice. I lived in Arizona twice. I lived in New York once. I lived in Milwaukee once. I lived in Washington once. I live, I'm i living in Dallas right now. Um, that's eight places so far. Um, I think that's about it. I think I've lived in eight places so far. Um, next question is, how do I like school? I use, okay, so when I first moved here, it was really hard. It was a really hard adjustment because, you know, everyone has a click and it's really hard to, like, go to move schools and, you know, everyone still, like, you know, talk to you and have that still relationship because I found my best friend at my old school, like, my best two friends. They were my best, the best two friends I ever could have and, you know, I moved. I break out and I was really sad 
and everything and then I came here and it was hard at first but I made a lot of friends and I'm loving it right now loving school um and yeah I love my teachers I love a lot of them I'm in a lot of extra activities so I'm loving everything here. and then next question is exciting sport watch oh okay. I love watching volleyball I love it like everything I love volleyball so much I think it's such a good sport to watch because it could change from like someone winning and a matter of seconds so I love the sport to watch and I love watching basketball I think those are the two best sports to watch love it I just next question is What's the boringest sport to watch? And that would definitely be baseball. I hate watching baseball. Can never watch it. Or like hockey. I don't even watch the sports, those sports. Like I think the World Cup, I would I'm not gonna say soccer because the World Cup right now, and I'm like, you know, everyone's talking about it, and I think it's pretty good, you know. It's not as boring to watch as like baseball or something. But I feel like baseball can also be really fun to watch. So it just depends on like where you're watching. Like, I think every sport could be boring depending on the age you're watching, but actually, I'm going to say, like, hockey, probably. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what sport. I don't like. Okay. So, I'm done getting mostly ready, so I'm going to just do my hair on time lapse because this video has already went to eight minutes, and I know I'm going to have to clip out some clips. that like okay guys I'm all ready and um I love how it looks I love how it all came out and I'm about to leave to go take photos so it's really the end of the video this really was my morning routine um so make sure to like subscribe and hit the notification bell and if y'all want me to do more morning routines like maybe on a school day or on a Sunday um I will do that I'm also thinking of doing a get ready with me and answer questions because I actually loved getting ready with y'all and answering some questions even though I had to cut some of the clips but anyway make sure to like subscribe and hit the notification bell and I will see y'all next time bye